The front wing is one of the most important parts of a Formula One car, simply because it's the first part of the car that comes into contact with the oncoming airflow as the car goes round a circuit. Front wing is fundamental in the aerodynamic of a Formula One car. If you get it right, everything will be easier. If you get it wrong, you have to recover the damage and try to compensate and recover to improve the airflow to the rest of the car. Although the front wing has to produce downforce of its own, it also has to work the airflow around the front tyres to reduce the amount of weight behind it. If it does that successfully, the rest of the car is able to benefit tremendously, improving the performance of other areas such as the floor and the diffuser. The central section of the front wing has to be neutral. 500 millimeters or 250 from each side of the center line has to be completely the same for all the cars. And then it becomes a crucial, the conjunction between this section and the rest of the car. This conjunction creates vortex, a vortex that help to improve the quality of the airflow all around the car and especially feeding the diffuser feeding the rest of the car, but most of it avoiding all the negative drag created by the front tire. Even little detail works to send the air outside the front tire. The end plates stop the high pressure air on top of the wing from spilling underneath, increasing the downforce. These can then be used to guide airflow around the tire, and the attached foot plate develops a vortex, which also helps with that. For 2019, the wing is now two metres wide and much more restrained compared to those seen over the past few years, with less chance of direct flow around the car, hoping to improve the racing seen on track.